I know it's been I ugh. hey guys it's your girl Jenny so I know I've been gone for stop, stop. Hey guys, it's your girl Jenny. So I know I've been gone for like a whole month, but that's because I just came back from California. I just came back like about a week ago. It's been exactly actually a week ago that I came back from California. Um, it was really nice, really fun and exciting, but I wouldn't go back to LA actually. Um, it just wasn't my cup of tea, honestly. If I go back to California, it'll be for like San Francisco or San Diego, but that's pretty much it. Um, and if I have to go to LA it's for a certain reason I wouldn't just go just for a vacation like I did this time I just like I said just wasn't my cup of tea not a fan of LA like that but I did enjoy it I love the hiking um I had such a hard time and the reason why I love the hiking was because I had so much support from my boyfriend and the person who was actually doing the hiking guide um my dog in the background but um, it was so much support and pushed by them and motivation. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't reach the top. Trust me, I wanted to give up. Like, there was no tomorrow. But um, I'm very happy that I actually went all the way up there. I haven't posted any pictures like that on my Instagram or Snapchat of, like, the trip of the pictures I have on my camera. But I will soon. I just have been moving everything and rearranging stuff in this room because as you see it's empty. It is actually half the makeup room, half the gaming room. Um, couldn't find my backdrop. I didn't want to show you guys exactly how it looks yet but it's okay. Um, I wanted to film so bad and I wasn't going to let a backdrop make me not film. But beyond that I'm very happy with this look. I actually did this look on Monday and I was like you know what I had so many compliments. I had someone ask me to do more videos. So I'm like yes. And I decided to film the same look that I did. I really like it. Um, I hope you guys do too. Like I said I used the Zulu Juvia's palette. I don't even know if I even said that. But if I didn't, this is the palette that I use. I highly recommend it. It makes you come out of your comfort spot because of the fact that it's just so much colorful um, colors. This is actually the broken one that I have. But since it's all colorful, like it makes you want to try it. I literally use these same colors but in different ways to create a different type of look. And I did this, this is like the third look with the same colors but in a different way. Highly recommend it. Just go for it. If you want it, go for it. I'll put the palette in the description box. But that's pretty much it. Just remember to subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you guys are notified when I finally upload. Because, you know, like I always say, I be going MIA on you guys. And make sure you guys follow me on all my social media, which will be right here. And I will see you guys on my next video. Peace. Okay, guys, I'm going in with that purple color from the palette. <laughs> Excuse my fucking hiccups. They're coming out wildly. <sighs> so with the purple shade, you're just going to be putting it right in the outer corner. You're not going to focus on anything else. You're going to just extend it just a little bit going towards the center. Don't worry about too much about blending the edges yet. I just want it to be as vibrant as possible, so I'm just patting it down. As I'm saying, I'm patting it down just to get it as vibrant as possible. So what I'm doing with the pink is that I'm blending it out of the edges of where that purple is, and that's how I'm blending out the purple. I'm trying not to go as harsh and as, as heavy with the pink. I'm trying to just blend it out as much as I can. And I'm going to just blend it on top of the purple as well. With the pink, I am going to extend it further into the center of my lid. I swear to God, these hiccups are going to be the death of me. <gasps> Who here watches Grey's Anatomy? Because if you do, I just keep thinking about that one episode where um, Lex Moms... <gasps> When Lex's mom has the hiccups and she ends up dying by it. Like, sorry if I ruined it for some of you guys who are barely watching it, but that's the episode that keeps uh, coming in my head with these fucking hiccups. Okay, so I'm going back in with that purple just to blend it out. My bad. Just to blend it out a little bit more. Now I'm going in with that orange and I'm blending that towards my inner 
Oh, I'm blending that towards my inner corners. Blending that in with the pink. And then I'm just going to try gently to blend that out. <laughs> this is literally a tutorial of me with hiccups. And again, I'm going in with that pink and just blending those two colors together. So now I'm going to go in with a flat, flat brush and create my cut crease. So I'm going to create my half a cut crease with my flat brush and just using some concealer. First tip I could recommend you guys is to try to line where you're going to do your cut crease with like try to dot it out or something cuz I need to go over my ugh, I need to go over my crease because if I don't when I have my eyes open whatever concealer or whatever shade I have in the bottom is going to go right on top of the of the lid and I don't want that. So from there I just open my eyes. <sighs> this is so hard. From there I open my eyes and I see if that's the perfect shape and if it is that's when I start col coloring everything in or not even <laughs> coloring, I don't know, fill in all the lid with the extra concealer that I had. Guys, I've been having hiccups since last night and I woke up this morning I'm like, oh I don't have them no more and they came right back. And I'm so mad because I couldn't find my backdrop. That's why it's just this empty room, which will be my future makeup slash gaming room. And that's why I'm also mad because I have these stupid ass hiccups. So as soon as you're done with that cut crease, you're going to go in with a beautiful yellow from the same palette. All the colors I use is from this one palette. And you're just gonna pat that yellow right where you did, oh, right where you did that cut crease. I feel like this is gonna be like a short video just because of my stupid hiccups, and I'm trying to talk. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that orange. Try to get a smaller brush or a pointy brush. I have this type of brush, just so it helps you get closer to the crease. Okay, guys, now we're gonna go back into that purple and we're gonna again focus in the outer corner and we're gonna try to blend that a little bit towards the yellow not so much because we're gonna go in with that pink one more time and we're gonna blend all the edges again this time that pink is gonna go towards the yellow as well so those are the two colors that mix together that's pretty much all you do with the shadow. Now I'm gonna create my eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with the gel first, and then I'm gonna line that up with a matte liquid liner. <laughs> and then this isn't my actual brush for it. I just can't find the one that I use. So now I'm gonna go into that liquid eyeliner and line everything again. So it's a little hard to do my makeup because I'm actually more blind in one eye than the other. So one eye will always come out really good because I can't see from a certain eye. So I'm done with this. So I'm going to take off the tape. Honestly, the tape is such a good hack for you to have it nice and clean. Like, I kid you not. It's so nice. So clean. It's like, I messed up here a little bit, but that's because I did it when I took off the tape, but that's why the tape is like the best. I'm going to go in with an eyeliner and I'm going to put it on the upper waterline just to make sure everything is fully intense. Now for the lower lashes, I'm going to go in with that purple super close to the lower lash line and super gentle. Don't go too rough or too ham on it because you don't want it to be too intense so after going in with that purple i'm gonna go with just the residue of the pink and i'm gonna just go right under the line as well right where i put the purple and just smoke everything out so i'm gonna go in with a brightener and adding it to my eyebrow bone and i'm also gonna be adding that to my inner corner I feel so much comfortable in this room and being able to talk because no one's home so I get to be as loud as I want 
and then besides that it's like i'm in my own little room again i just feel more comfortable compared to having to film in my room where it was all cramped up i'm just so upset because i couldn't find my fucking backdrop but it's okay all right so then after that i'm gonna go into after that i'm gonna go into my face i'm gonna do my hair and i'll be back to show you guys how i end up looking but this is pretty much it with the eye look so let me just finish the rest of my face and i'll be back uh, and i dropped my palette and i oh anyways um this is the finished look i literally just dropped my palette I hope it didn't break more than what it is, but this is a finished look. I am very, very happy with this look. Like I said, I've done this look before, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't really use anything. Like, I didn't use foundation. I just went with the concealer, bronzer, and baked my face a little. I don't use foundation unless it's for, like, special occasions because I feel like I don't need it as much. But beyond that, this is the look. I'm very happy with it and i hope you guys are and like i said i will see you guys on my next video peace oh my god yes i did not break oh my god even though this is not mine this was my sister because i gave it to her i'm so happy i did not break it yes bye